In this video, we'll be discussing CB2 September 2022 MCQ solutions. The solutions are true and best of my knowledge. These are indicative solutions. If you all find anything wrong, you all can obviously uh, comment in the comment section. The, we have uh, just to note that we have our admissions open for April 2023 exams. So if anybody wants to enroll, you all can contact us or at the given contact in the description. Okay, starting with question one, which one of the following most accurately describes macroeconomic, microeconomic topics? This is very easy question. The price of newspapers, demand for electricity and the privacy of private education, or the price level demand and price of healthcare. The rate of economic growth, price of electricity, the demand for healthcare, and demand for newspapers, the rate of inflation. So obviously, the rate of inflation does not come into microeconomic topics. Rate of economic growth does not come into microeconomic topic, and the price level does not also come into microeconomic topic. So it's A. In general, increased investment in capital goods will lead to uh, reduced current consumption. This is uh, again very direct. An increase in the price of frozen yogurt will lead to so price of frozen yogurt will lead to a rightward shift of the demand curve for the ice cream. Okay, because if uh, frozen yogurt and ice creams are related to each other, then four is a significant increase in income is likely to increase the demand for which of the following uh, increase in income. It's basically fizzy drinks. Because the others are luxury, so we cannot. Uh, then we have question number five. If the demand for good increases from 200 units to 400 units and the price falls from 16 to 12 and the price elasticity of the demand using the ARC method is equal to 2.33 using the formula, if you calculate. Then we have question 6. Uh, food outlets in airport terminals are able to charge a higher price than their high street equivalent because demand for food important terminals is relatively price inelastic again because uh, they are able to charge uh, because uh, the price they can charge is anything if somebody wants to have they will have the supply curve will shift to left when Fewer firms are producing, obviously, because production costs fall, of supply will be increasing, market price falls, not uh, just there will not be any shift when the five price falls, technological progress again, supply increases, only fewer firms producing. If the demand curve is more price inelastic than the supply curve, then a subsidy will benefit the consumer because demand. Um, is inelastic in the supply curve. Nine is uh, the marginal cost curve is intersecting the average cost curve at its minimum, marginal cost curve. Then what type of cost benefits the repayment of a bank loan for a firm? It is defixed cost. Then we have 11. In the long run, firms will produce as long as the price, as long as the, the price they charge exceeds the average variable cost. 11 is C. A firm is operating in a perfectly competitive industry and in the long run equilibrium, an increase in wages would lead to uh, a no change in the number of firms of profits. Firms of profits. Then the marginal revenue curve for a monopoly is. Uh, Below the demand curve, C, which of the following is an example of a government policy conflict? So, a reduction in interest rates to poor economic growth and increase in employment, no. A reduction in tax leading to more economic growth and lower unemployment, no. An increase in public expenditure leading to a fall in unemployment and with higher prices, 14C. Circular flow of income model assumes that injections are linked to the level of income. 
then we have 15 uh, 16 in an economy investment spending is 240 billion savings 160 government spending 80 imports are 120 and taxes 80 billion what is the value of exports in the economy 16 a 40 billion if the marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.6 in the multiplier assuming no tax is uh, 2.5 in order to determine the real national income, the national income, nominal national income is adjusted for changes in price level, which is D. Policies that are designed to support the supply side of the economy does not include increased government spending, that is C. During an economic boom, the government fiscal position is likely to improve due to less spending on benefits, that is to D again. In order to avoid the problem, fiscal drag government should uh, increase income tax band, that is D, um, uh, sorry, reduce income tax bands, which is B. And then 22 is people should hold cash in order to make general purchases. This is known as uh, transaction motive and increase in the money supply 23 uh, will decrease the short-term interest rates and increase aggregate demand. This 23A structure unemployment mostly cause, most commonly rises at particular periods during the year when the demand is low. Given a population of 24 million people with 12 million, 24 structural in unemployment mostly commonly arises when uh, we have at particular periods when uh, at particular during year when the demand is low. This is true again way for B. Many five given a population of 24 million people with 12 million people are employed and 2 million and what is the size of the labor force using the formulas you can get it directly. 25B, 14 million. Cost post inflation may be likely to arise due to the following that is, an increase in energy prices will cause the cost post inflation. That's it. The paper was very easy this time for CB2. Even the long questions were very direct and uh, they had a lot of calculations. If you see, so you can see the calculation was there, and when sums are there, you can easily score. And even there was a graph based question, which is easy to write. Than the others. Oh, that's it. Thank you.